What's up guys, I'm DJ Swivel and I'm here to give you a walkthrough of my brand new plugin, ClickBoom. ClickBoom is a transient shaper that has two different transient algorithms. Click focuses on shorter, higher frequency transients and Boom focuses on longer and lower frequency transients. Let's dive into the plugin and show you how all the controls work. So here's the UI of ClickBoom. And you'll notice we have a left side with the click algorithm and a right side with the boom algorithm. We'll get to the center section in a minute. So you have a gain control for your click transients, which has up to 24 dB of positive gain and also 24 dB of negative gain. This is the same on the boom algorithm. Within each algorithm, we have some other controls that help you shape the sound of your transients. On each algorithm, we have a crunch control which adds some saturation to the transients. We have a length control, which changes the length of the transient. And we also have a sensitivity control, which helps shift how much transients are being picked up. There is a smooth switch, which reshapes how the transient is processed against the tail of the signal, which we will get to in a second. And each algorithm has a high and low cut filter to color the sound of the transient that you're processing. In the center of the plugin, we have a tail control, which gives you 24 dB of positive gain and 60 dB of negative gain. And this is essentially a gain control for all aspects of the signal that are not detected as a transient. This gives you an immense amount of control over the shape of your drum loops and other sounds. And here in the bottom portion of the UI, we have a clip button which just chops off any part of the signal above zero. And we also have an output gain control. And this happens in this order, first clip, and then our output gain control when we think of signal flow. In the upper portion of the UI, we have the preset controls. Uh, and this controls a number of aspects of the plugin. First, we have uh, undo, we have redo, we have previous, and next preset. We have a save dropdown allowing you to save and load various presets. And we also have an AB control allowing you to have two different states of the plugin and copy one state to the next. And finally, in the preset window, we have a settings menu which simply allows you to activate and deactivate your plugin. And now I'm going to run through some of the controls so you can see ClickBoom in action. So here I've got a drum loop, which I will play now, and I will start with the click algorithm so you can hear what that sounds like. Now we'll adjust the length of the click algorithm just to hear how a shorter transient sounds compared to a longer one. Now let's add some crunch to hear what a little saturation on the transient feels like. Next, we'll play with the filter just so you can hear how a lower frequency click transient feels as opposed to a higher frequency click transient. And that is the click algorithm. Now let's switch over to boom.
You'll notice if you remove gain from the boom or click algorithm, but especially the boom algorithm, you will create a ton of space to allow you to layer your own kick on top of, for example, a drum loop. And you can use the length control to change how much space you want to leave for a new kick if you want to layer something new in. So now let's see how the tail control affects a drum loop. Here we go. You'll notice if you increase the gain, you get a liver feeling sound. And if you lower the gain on tail, it almost sounds more like a programmed loop instead of a live drum sound. Now let's use the clip function to level out our sound in case we add too much gain to our transients. Here we go. So now I'm going to show you guys four different presets inside ClickBoom, all processed on one drum loop, just to show you how versatile this plugin really is. Here we go. Okay, so here's the drum loop in question, and first I'm going to play it with no ClickBoom processing, and then I'm going to start to run through four different presets. Here we go. Okay. Now let's hear what this sounds like if we add our drum loop dynamic preset. Here we go. And now we'll bypass. So we added some nice thumpiness in the kicks, a little bit of clarity in the uh, higher frequency transients, and you've got now a much more dynamic sounding drum loop. This next preset is called Live Room, and it's going to enhance the tail and minimize the transients so you get a much more roomy sounding drum loop. Again, I will play the drum loop by itself, and then I will unbypass and play you the process sound. Much bigger sound, much livelier sound. Um, very, very cool. And now we'll move on to the next preset. This next preset is called Kill Verb. And Kill Verb does exactly what it sounds like. It kills the reverb in a drum loop and focuses primarily on the transient sounds, the kick and the snare, and kind of kills everything in between. Let's hear what it sounds like. First, I'm going to play the loop, and then I'm going to unbypass and play you the preset. really just tightens up that drum loop and enhances just the kick and snare. Now let's jump to the last preset called Tightly Crushed. And I'm not even going to tell you what this does, but have a listen. You get a nice distorted, tight sound. The transients are pumping but the tail has been removed. As you can see, there's minus 47.2 dB removed in the tail, and you get this nice, gritty, dirty uh, drum break sounding loop. While ClickBoom is a really powerful tool for drums, you can also use it on dynamic sounds like guitars or basses. Let me show you that now. So I've got an acoustic guitar here, and as I start playing it, I'm gonna enhance the volume of the click algorithm just so you can hear how it brings out some of the more transients and some of the picking and some of the string noises of this acoustic. Here we go.
a much more dynamic sound, much richer, and will really bring life to your mix. And now here's a bass sound that had a side chain on it, and so we want to bring back some of those dynamics and some of the transients on this bass. Let's see how ClickBoom does that. I will bypass the bass sound first, and then I will re-add it. And just like that, you've got a more dynamic bass. Sometimes in the tracks that we produce, we want more attack on our bass sounds, but sometimes it's hard to get through just a compressor. Clickboom is the perfect tool to give you more dynamics and have your sounds pop right out of the speakers. And that is Clickboom. Whether you need a little more thump in your kicks, a little more snap to your snares, or just a more dynamic mix in general, Clickboom is the plugin for you. Get it now on DJSwivel.com.